Wow, are you trying to tell me there's another creep on TikTok? <laughs> Could have fooled me. I already knew he was coming. There's a new creep on TikTok every week. In this video, we're going to be talking about TikToker uh, called The Singing Nonce. I just named that, so... Yes! Kicking ass today already. We're back, baby. We're back. hey We're back, baby. And... Uh... <laughs> just noticed the broom in the corner there. Uh... I might just leave that there, actually. I was gonna move it, but I think that broom has come pretty iconic already. I just want to let you all know you can stop sweating, you can stop worrying yourselves and panicking. I'm here, guys. King Curtis has returned. That's right, I'm back, guys. I'm back. King Curtis is back. There's, okay, so there's a TikToker called Roger Cly? Sly? Sly, my b****. It's a 57-year-old man who uh, has recently had his TikTok account banned. Uh, and we're gonna get into why that happened, so you wanna stick around for this. So he's a TikTok, he kind of does like song cover, so he, he like sings with the song, like a, a sing-along, like a karaoke. Uh, he's not actually a singer, he's just a 57-year-old man on TikTok. You know, let me give you a little bit of taste of what kind of thing he does. Never gonna dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. Though it's easy to pretend. Not gonna lie. Sounded like Roger a little bit. Not for long, though. This guy also became like a meme for like POV material. And this guy was like huge. He had like 3 million followers. And he posts like 10, 20 TikToks a day. Like a teenage girl's dad who just discovered the app for the first time. And by watching some of his videos, I've discovered a pattern. Uh, he really, really loves young blonde girls. So if you're a young blonde girl, Check it out, Daddy's on his way. <laughs> Worldwide, breaking all the rules. And all he does is just sit there singing along. I'll make you scream my name. I'll make you glad you came. <sighs> but this guy is borderline weird. We're gonna get into it, right? If you've seen the thumbnail, you know, watch me while I'm on the toilet. A little inside of what we're going into today. Uh, it's not gonna be a normal video. Well, what video of mine is. He had like a Rolling Stone article and uh, he here's his quote from it. I think old people know not to be so self-conscious. That's the one thing that always worries me about younger people. They care about what other people think. Whoa, whoa. Right there, my friends, he is foreshadowing the future. And you're about to find out why. But my message is to be yourself and enjoy each day. This wasn't my plan. I just wanted to sing. But now I'm getting totally educated to the new music. And it's really good. So now I'm stitching in the new with the old. Moving forward and trying to make people happy. What have I got to lose? Shouldn't have spoken so quickly, my friend. You had a shit ton to lose. Your whole account with three million followers. Get fucked. <laughs> Sucks to suck. The one thing that always worries me about younger people is that they care what people think. Sometimes, my friend, maybe you should care about what people think. But you actually did because when you got exposed for all the stuff you got exposed for, you were deleting negative comments in the comment section. Let's skip forward to about a week ago. He was doing a live stream on TikTok where he was singing. Uh, and he had another girl in his live stream with him. That girl's name was Olivia. And she was an aspiring singer. A regular TikTok user, mind you. Only about 2,000 followers. So of course, my guy Roger hit it up. And was like, you know, let's meet up. Let's do a live stream of us singing on TikTok. And, you know, worked out great for him. As you'll come to see. Now this is a very short clip of them where they were like, seemed really close with each other. He was like sat behind her, give off weird vibes, I don't know. A lot of people were a bit confused by this. Now Roger actually posted a pic on Instagram with the same girl and uh, this was the caption. So beautiful. And the landscape ain't bad either. I you know, as soon as I saw the picture, I thought to myself, what nursing home has he escaped from? Like you're 57 years old, pal. Probably got a thright us in both knees and need your ass wiped by a nurse. Anyway, it comes full circle when we find out she actually graduated last year. Making her 19 years old. 57 year old bloke with a 19 year old girl. But of course, Roger has been a little bit naughty. The blue pill wasn't cutting it for him. So, people discovered that he actually went further back on her Instagram and was liking pictures from when she was 16 years old. <coughs> Nonce! And by this point, you could have sworn World War 3 had happened, people were getting ready, right? Getting drafted. Getting into it, going freaking out on TikTok, let's take Roger down! And they did, but before that, this is the storyline of the singing nonce. Whoa, whoa, mama mia, here I go again. After all this went down, people, you know, were saying things like, Roger, Roger, what are you doing, Roger? I believed in you, you, you I was a fan of you, I loved your voice, you were the best singer. 
No one was saying that, of course. Talking about this guy fucking talking about all his fans or whatever. Bro sings over other people's tracks and acts like he's good. Get good, that's what I say. That's what, get good. Yeah. Hashtag get good, Roger. But he responded to all the allegations on Instagram with the classic black screen with white text. And to sum up what he said, it was along the lines of Here I go again. What he actually said was Attention, you should be ashamed of yourself. Last night I went live with a talented 21 year old musician and singer. We sang to you. We sang for you. We sang in a well-lit hotel room and sat in a business chair. <laughs> oh, sorry, Roger, you and your business chairs. A man of great taste, Roger. Great taste indeed, 21-year-olds. We sang in portrait mode for viewer convenience. The chairs were close to fit us both in the video. Then the rumours, she is his 19-year-old GF. WTF. Some sick F. Dug up a post of her graduation year, but failed to imagine that people graduate at different ages for various good reasons. Singing is not a crime at any age. This guy talks like he's the G, you know, refuses to accept his age. He wants in with the cool kids. Well, unfortunately, the cool kids decline. Now at this point, bro's acting like he done nothing wrong. He's pretty much putting the blame on the audience, being like, you guys fucked up. You guys ruined a good thing here. How dare you? I was happy in my life with this 19 year old girl. <laughs> Find out in a second that he's not as good as he makes out he is. Anyway, shortly after this, done a live stream and he was just sitting there, just, <laughs> just reading the comments, and you could just see his finger moving, deleting the negative ones. It's kind of hilarious, actually. Uh, I find it really funny. Now, the girl that was in the video, who is supposedly 19, actually responded. Let's just hear what she got to say. Roger just invited me to sing with him, and it was a great opportunity, a great experience. I'd never gone live before like that, especially on a live with like more than 10 people. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity. Um, and I want to say thank you to all the people that are very supportive right now and, you know, sticking up for me. It's just been a very tough time at the moment, you know, dealing with the negativity. It's not right. Um, the hatred between uh, me, um, well, the hatred coming from other people onto the moderate. So, yeah, um, I, it really hurts to be called like a whore when, you know, people see you singing on a live with someone else. But anyway, regardless of her response, people are still concerned. People still had worries and they made it very vocal of what their worries were. Best part about this is Roger was actually responding to this as well, and this is what Roger had to say. It was a very small diversion in my playhouse to meet somebody with a beautiful voice and sing to you. Sorry if that offended you. Sorry if that offended you. See, so shifting the blame again. Like, you guys are wrong for being concerned. Sorry if me singing with a 19-year-old girl offended you. Sorry for the inconvenience. Brilliant. Well, uh, and this this part as well, this was hilarious. Unfortunately, we're not even besties anymore. We've decided that just we can, we just won't um, collaborate anymore. Unfortunately, we aren't even besties anymore. Dude, can you like be friends with people your own age? Like, I'm sure there's like Deborah down the street who wears the same nappies as you. You can go shopping and get them together from the grocery store. So very taboo to sing with anybody under the age of 21. The hotel thing, yes, we needed a place to sing with good lighting. We sat in a hotel propped up our gear and sat in chairs that were squished together so we could fit a profile view. That is what happened. And we sang to you and we were abused. And then it goes again, you know, it's not right to sing with anyone under the age of 21. Was she 21 though, Roger? Was she 21? Or are you just talking out of your old nappy ass? Well, guess what? She wasn't 21 and we're going to find out in a minute. Roger's own moderator in the TikTok live stream came out and said, Yes, Olivia was Roger's date, and yes, they did go to dinner before the live stream. Texas Roadhouse. So, <laughs> nice one, Roger. You landed yourself a date. And when all this came out, people were making TikToks about Roger, and he didn't like it one bit. Here are some of the texts that Roger sent to Olivia about the person that was making TikToks on them. She is evil. She is sick. She will ruin us. Let me know right now if you want her in your life. The fact that you would even consider interacting with this person has me very worried. Sounds like a dialogue from Star Wars, doesn't it? She was evil! She was sick! She twisted your mind through the dark side! <laughs> Anakin Chancellor Palpatine is evil! Fucking bollocks, right? Okay. She will ruin us. Let's talk about that in a bit. The way he's saying it, she will ruin us. No, she won't, pal. She'll ruin you. You're trying to make this girl feel like as if she's got something to lose. Because if she feels like she's got something to lose, then she's going to defend you. Oh no, but it's going to ruin us. 
Oh no, I've got to defend Roger because I need to speak up for both of us. Because I don't want my career ruined too. And now at this point, people started getting really annoyed and calling their age gap problematic. To which, uh, he jumps on TikTok and sings a cover that would be perfectly timed for the controversy. He sang Olivia Rodriguez, Vampires. Just hear this shit, man. Bud sucker, fame funker, bleeding me dry like a goddamn vampire. He couldn't make it more obvious that he was singing it to the haters on TikTok. Blood sucker, fame funker, bleeding me dry like a goddamn vampire. <laughs> Now, Olivia actually posted a four-minute TikTok where she said she was not holding back, that it is her truth, and she will speak it to everybody on TikTok. Let's just find out how many lies Rogers found himself in. My name is Olivia McCraw, and I'm 19 years old. I want to let you all know I'm saying this now because I do not want to ruin the progress Roger Clay has made currently in his career. Let I'm 19 years old? Ooh, yeah! And all the progress he's made in his career? I mean, come on, guys, yeah? He sings over other people's tracks. He has made so much progress. I may as well take my crown off. Roger, you deserve this for all the progress you've made in your career. Thank you, Roger. Thank you for existing. <laughs> Late last week, I had randomly joined Roger Clay's live and saw he was making someone go to the Taylor Swift concert, or he was asking someone, sorry. Um, I was jokingly wanting to go since I would have not been able to go regardless because of my location and work. Roger had reached out to me and conveyed that I was a beautiful, and if it, that I was beautiful, and if it wasn't for his daughter last minute, the person he chose would have been me. Cool, so he had one spare ticket to the Taylor Swift concert, and if it wasn't for his daughter taking the last minute, he would have chosen her. A beautiful 19-year-old girl from the common section. <laughs> he booked a flight to see Olivia the next day after the concert. A girl he's never met before, that was from TikTok, that had less than 2,000 followers, so he flew over to her. She couldn't meet him up straight away because she was going to the gym. Eventually, she came from the gym. She went to his hotel room. All right, things got a little bit spicy. Not yet, but they did. <laughs> and then she was like, you know what? I'm hungry, Roger. <laughs> yeah. And you know, Roger, being the man of the house. <laughs> Olivia, I've got the perfect plan. Get ready. Dress up nice and fancy. We'll head for dinner at 7 o'clock down the Texas Roundhouse. Very posh. We had gone to Texas Roadhouse to eat. In the midst of conversation, he made me aware that he had a vasectomy. He was very loud and it was made clear that people had heard him. POV, you're on a date with Roger. Mm. Yeah, the, this steak is pretty delicious. <laughs> Just want to let you know, 19-year-old uh, girl, that uh, I've had a vasectomy. I'm shooting blanks. Yeah, you look beautiful tonight, by the way. <laughs> so you're telling me this guy's in the restaurant with a 19-year-old girl and makes it very well known to everybody in the restaurant by talking so loud that he's had a vasectomy. Why does this 19-year-old girl need to know that? What What are you planning exactly? Were you planning to cream pie? Oh, Roger. Those years have gone, all right? Your dog days are done, all right? Enough being a dirty dog now, okay? You can't be, all right, Roger? You gotta keep it inside, man, all right? Well, you can't let it out anyway, you've had a vasectomy. Anyway, after that, they would have jumped on livestream and sing, but she wanted to go back to her house quickly to get her guitar. So, of course, Roger, once again being the man of the house, decided to drive her to her house, and uh, he went there and requested if he can take a picture of her backyard. Now, that's weird, but she didn't know this picture was going to be posted. He wanted a selfie, basically, where they kind of got really close in together and just, like, you know, took the picture of her backyard with them two in it. And that, my friends, is the picture you saw on Instagram that she wasn't aware was going to be public. So he posted it without her consent, which, you know, already isn't illegal, but it's a bit... What? Why? <laughs> uh, anyway, it's just too good, so check this out. That fact, to do the live stream together, I was excited. He went to the bathroom with the door wide open, and I stood there as his phone lit up. It was a very close-up picture of myself, which he... Which had weirded me out a little bit, and this was a picture of me as his background. Dude left the door open while he was on the toilet. But what I really want to know is if he sits or stands. Does he sit down when he's on the toilet, or does he stand up? There's only one way to do it, folks. Stand up. It's the only best way you can shit, honestly. But imagine this creepy, wrinkly sack is in the toilet. And he's literally left the door open. The question has to be asked, like, why does he feel the need that, like his thought process that everyone else is wrong. Like, all he done was sit down and sing with people. Did you really just sit down and sing, though? Or did you leave the bathroom door open while you had your tugger out? 
you know? But yeah, guys, leave your comments down below. I know this video has taken me a while to make. I know that I've been gone for a long time. Like I said, I'm sorry. You know, me and my broom now, we're going to be doing the adventures for a little bit. Until I move again in about three months. So that's why I haven't made a video in a long time. It's not because of, uh, it's not because of Karetna, okay? <laughs> You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad bro? Uh.